What's up guys, today I'm looking for the best used sneaker deals at SneakerCon. I'm gonna walk around the event, see what we can find, see if we can get it for good prices, and grab as many pairs as possible. So let's do it. So we're in Washington, D.C. for SneakerCon. My sock brand, Apothecary, has a booth there. I'm going to man the booth, talk about socks, and also while I'm at it, check out some sneakers because of course it's SneakerCon and I wanna see what's available. You guys know me, I love thrifting. I wanna see what kind of used sneakers we can find. Okay, so we got a bin of sneakers right here with a lot of good stuff. Got some Air Forces. Ooh, look at those fives. Got the Yeezys. I like these 11s. I don't really have any pairs in mind that I'm trying to grab. I'm just looking for the best deal. Not seeing anything that I really want, but this is a nice bin. Did you see anything you liked in that bin? No, it's a little um, well-worn, like very well-worn. That's true. Oh, this is Osman, by the way, the co-founder of my sock brand Apothecary. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We found another booth, some used sneakers here, some good stuff it looks like. This nice green and white dunks. Very nice for 60, that's actually a great price. So the first pair that we came across is a pair of white and green Nike Dunk Highs. A pair that I'm not incredibly interested in, but the price was right. It's actually a really good wearable shoe. Right? Especially like not an Eagles fan or like Celtics or something like that. Not yeah, half with, your, with your uh, Eagles jersey. That's not bad, man. I might actually have to grab that. Let me see what else I got, because that's actually a really good price. What else do we have? We got these ones right here. They went for the 165 is not bad for a size nine. These DJ Khaled size 10 for 150, dude. This Fire Red 4 is for 250 in a size 13. That's a great price. We got the uh, Letterman ones, size 10 for 120. The Neapolitan threes are very, very clean. I like these a lot. I wish these were my size. I think they're a women's only release. Yeah. Do you sure. like them though? This colorway is sick. I do. The color is nice. Should I get the dunks, dude? I mean, $60, you can't go wrong with that. I know. That. I think I'm going to have to do it. Okay, first buy of the day, we'll get the dunks. These are the Nike Dunk High White Stadium Green. Uh, this is a pair that I think you can still buy in Foot Locker and I grabbed it for $60, which is $60 off of retail price. They're worth about 70. There's a potential profit of like $10 on these guys, but honestly for 60 bucks, it's a solid colorway and a shoe that uh, it's definitely easy to rock. Okay, so over here we got some good stuff. We got some Moon Rocks right here, which I think are used. There's no price on them. These are very, they very warm. clean. Oh, yeah, they're warm. I love the Moon Rocks, dude. Yeah, I love they're, they're nice. What's your favorite V1? Turtle Bells. Okay, fair enough. So usually when I go to SneakerCon, I end up going before the event actually opens because I have a booth to set up or something like that. And whenever you do that, you actually have a really great opportunity to check out some of these booths while they're setting up, which I kind of feel like is a little bit of a cheat code, but it allows you to see what they're gonna have on display or for sale. A nice Air Jordan 1 Low Starfish for 140. Size eight and a half. Could rock it, but it's still a little small. Some Lightning Fours in a size nine. Ooh, for 220. That's not bad. Yo, do you like the Lightning Fours? Yeah, I like them. They're good. Dude, they got the Reimagined Threes. I love this shoe. It's yeah. probably my favorite shoe of, of this year. Well, no. not favorite, but close. The SB4. The SB4. Dude, 220 is not bad. I already have is two pairs new? of these. No, it's worn. But that's still not bad. They're in really good condition. This might be my favorite find. I don't need another pair. 220. But I love it. We're walking around the event. We're looking at a lot of different booths that have a lot of different stuff that's kind of getting pulled out of boxes and put on tables, but we just haven't found anything that great yet. Okay, we're at another booth. We got these, size nine, used, 160 bucks. Not bad. What do you think of this colorway? I like it. The burgundy? Yeah, I like it's it nice. too. What else we got? We got those uh, Fire Red 4s back there for 200, not bad. We got all sorts of stuff here. We got the ones, the Dark Marino ones. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, the Travis's too. They got the Travis sixes over there. Yeah. Is that Fire Red Five? Ooh, they actually look pretty much new. Yeah. A little bit of yellowing as they do. We got the the low top Jeters. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of these. Oh, we got these. What did you think of the Flyknit ones when they first released back in like 2016? No, I was never into these. You weren't? Were you? I don't think anyone was. Uh, you were? Were you? No. Jordan Brand sent me a pair. And it was a bread pair, I liked it. I bet I liked they're it. comfy though. They are very comfy. They're super soft, they're actually pretty breathable. Hold up, hold Runners. up, dude, they got your pick. I would like another pair, but I can't see myself wearing it I could in see today's you world. I mean, maybe in like shorts and like a t-shirt or something, maybe. maybe cozy. By the way, what you got on foot today? I have some off-white fours, some emerald apothecary socks. Oh, very nice, very nice. Let me see those bad boys. They actually match with your camo. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. First of all, I got the full apothecary fit. Got the, the black shirt. I got these sample Apothecary cargos, which hat, you guys don't, don't know about the hat. hat. Yep. We got the Apothecary, the uh, what, chocolate pair? I got chocolate. these at Zoomies, actually. Funny story, even though we have a whole warehouse of them. And then I've got the Dornbecker 5 sample pair. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. 
That's actually very, very wearable. Yeah, I, I would wear this right now. Ooh, custom Red 11s. It's like a 2010 Seth Fowler. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Oh my gosh. Let's Except find it. Mine was nice though, mine was nice. Oh, the barber shops? Oh, the barber shops, yep, these are clean. I really well, I didn't know it had that um, lace cool. lock. Yeah, they do. That's really cool. We got the patent red ones, which I actually would be happy to have another pair of if these are my size. Ooh, I keep saying ooh. I keep, I keep seeing stuff, I'm like ooh, ooh. We got the off-white dunks right here. They're the leather though. You don't like the leather as much. No, the suede is way better. Agreed. These are number 27 out of 50. Okay, so wait, so you got, you found these thrifting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found the, the flip. That's crazy. That's crazy from Goodwill. $25 at Goodwill. And they were legit? Authentic. That's nuts, bro. That's the craziest find. Crazy find. Sweet, so what you got for sale? What sneakers? Uh, you know, Lost and Fouls. Nice. The Puerto Rico, the orange colorway. That's dope. We also rocking the Supreme Air Maxes. So you already know it. The Howard P's. Whoa. That's wild. That's yeah, absolutely insane. I tried insane. one of the stores around, around here, so. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. The material's I'm gonna, nuts. I was looking to do a trade with these. We'll see what happens. How much, if you were to sell these, how much would you have to sell them for? Right in order? now they're around five, five grand. Yo, huge thank you. Yo, you just gave me these, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. These are awesome. These are so sick. So we got these off shopgoodwill.com from uh, Columbia out of Portland, Oregon. Nice. Um, they are 1991 uh, Air Jordan uh, tie samples. Wow. Um, we think that these may be the first non-Air uh, Jordan basketball shoes. We got the seven bottoms. I've never seen anything like that before. That's So if you're not familiar with Britt Waters, she's actually known as the sneakerhead news reporter because she always wears sneakers in the news reports, which is super awesome. Not only that, she's also becoming known as a huge Pothcary fan. So that's pretty cool. Wait, where'd you find those? I found these at the thrift store at, um, what is it? Goodwill. No way, at the bins awesome. actually. Really? The, bins. the ones like so in these are like right? two bucks. That's crazy. Yeah, they were bad before. That's nuts, for two bucks? Yeah. The bins is nuts too, man. Been some crazy stuff. Replacement staff in. So now we're gonna go back around and check for some more sneakers. So far, I've only really bought one pair, but I'm still on the hunt for more. I, I feel like I can never get enough sneakers, which is probably why I'm addicted to sneakers. I have some sort of problem. I don't know. So this boost is popping. Some used off whites here for 50 bucks. 50 is actually not bad at all. What else we got? We got some lucky. Lucky Greens. We got some Jordan 1 Lows, size 12 DS. How much are those, us? 350, size 7. Are they used? I think, so. yeah, it does. It used. There's, some, there's actually some good used stuff over there in our size. Oh, look at these. I love these. These are the uh, Christmas ones. Used size 9, 450. Dang. That's a lot. Four K, nine and a half red Octobers are four K. That's not a good bad. price, but it's used. That's, That's not a good bad. price though. Are you gonna cop? Yeah. You want that shoe? You do want that shoe? This is one of my favorite pairs of Air Jordan Twos. The infrared twos. Too bad it's they would be your favorite pair of Air Jordan. I just love this pair. I don't know why I like it so much. It's way too big though, but it's really sick. Oh, dude, we got the Bel Airs. Very you. That's probably a good price. That probably for how used is. It is. It's definitely a. Is it my size? You think? Yeah, it's about a nine, I think. I, I would grab these. I had a pair. So back in 2013, Jordan Brand had released a fresh print of Bel Air Air Jordan 5, a pair that I actually waited in line for in Philly. Do you have a box for them, by any chance? For 110. I know, I know. I'll, I'll take them. Next up, we've got the Kobe 5 Bel Airs from 2013. This is a pair that I've actually had multiple pairs of in the past. I actually waited overnight for these back in 2013 in college, um, and I didn't even end up getting a pair. Well, so, okay, I've had one pair of these in the past. And then I bought a pair for a resale, and then I ended up selling it. And I regret it ever since. Now, I found a pair of these for 120, which I thought was a really great price, and I still think it is a really great price. Unfortunately, it's a size 10, I believe, so I probably can't rock it. But uh, for 120, couldn't pass it up. Now, there's no box, but it's in really good condition. I'm gonna 
take off some of the dirt on the side of the sneaker and on the midsole of the sneaker and the outsole. And after checking prices of used pairs of these on eBay and sold listings and things like that, I think I could probably get around 160 bucks for these, which means we could potentially profit $40, which is not bad. That was a decent pickup, dude. Yeah. I think you found those for me. I think that's, a, that's an, os, an os point out. I did, I did, I did. So I realized that I'm in the DC area, which is right to Maryland, which is where I'm from. There's a lot of Ravens fans here. And I realized, you know what? I've been wanting to buy a purple pair of shoes for Ravens games for a long time. I had some other ones, but they were cursed. It was a whole big thing. But now I'm trying to find a pair of shoes. I have some stuff in mind, but I'm not 100% sure which pair I want to grab. And I think grabbing it at SneakerCon DC is fitting. All right, so we're looking for some purple shoes. And it looks like they got some good stuff here. They got the 13s right here in a size nine for 260, which is actually not bad. These would be perfect. I can't remember if this is the cursed pair, it's the other pair, but these are size 11 for 280. These were a size nine, I would probably have grabbed those. Let's see what else we got. Those threes would be perfect too. Right there, fortunately on someone else's feet. What size do you guys have these for? Nine and a half. Nine and a half, how much do you guys have them for? 220. Let's do it, I'll do it. Oof, it smell like feet. I'm gonna have to wash these. Um, <laughs> so I grabbed these for $220 in a size nine and a half. I'm a size nine. So uh, it's not exactly my size. They're in really good condition though. The problem is, is that brand new pairs go for 220. I just, I had the pricing mixed up with the original Quart Purples and uh, I made a mistake. So I think I could probably sell these in this condition, missing one set of laces, but that's it, for 180 bucks, which means that uh, in theory, we, we've lost $40, which is not, not great. Um, probably should have left these, or I probably should have haggled, which is insane that I didn't. I was just really stoked to find a purple pair of Jordans at Washington DC sneaker con which is near Baltimore my home city. I'm a Ravens fan So uh, I had to grab a Raven pair of sneakers in DC, but I think I grabbed the wrong pair Hold on. We got hundred and under in this bin right here Look at this some satin fives Fire red fives in a large size. We got the Iversons right here. Look at these. These are clean So I may have screwed up with that Air Jordan 1 purchase I know that but uh, I might be able to redeem myself with a find in one of these bins Some good. Oh Kobe's Look at these. This might be the move. This might be the move. For 100? How much do you have the Kobe's for? 100? Would you like 80 for them? Okay, cool. These did cash out. The Kobe 9 Victory Elites, a shoe that I found in this bin of used sneakers. I never thought I'd find Kobe's in a bin of used sneakers, but we did. It's a size 11, so not something that I can rock. And it's also a, uh, a silhouette and a colorway that I don't think is one of the most popular Kobe's out there. But brand new, this shoe goes for like $600, which is absolutely insane. But we grabbed this pair in a size 11 used with no box, $80. And I think it's worth around $120, which means we probably could flip this for $40. Honestly, if this shoe was my size, I would rock it. I'd like to try it out because I've heard really good things about the Kobe 9s, but I've never played in a pair. So, cool pickup. So, I'm gonna legit check all these shoes now because I wanna make sure that all the pairs we bought are legit. The problem is, um, if they're not, we may be out of luck because uh, pretty sure everyone who sold me the shoes, if they are fake, are not gonna be here anymore. So we're gonna check them all on the Unbox app. If you guys haven't checked out the Unbox app, I'm a part owner of the app, it's an awesome app. Basically what you can do with it is categorize your sneakers, trade sneakers, legit check sneakers. You can do pretty much everything that you need to do with your sneakers other than wear them on the Unbox app. You can actually say that you wore them on the Unbox app and track which shoes you wear on the Unbox app, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, short of wearing your sneakers for you, the Unbox app does everything. So if you guys wanna check it out, there's a link in the top of the description below. Also, my voice is going, I don't know how this happened. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. It's cool because even if you don't get the picture exactly right, it'll tell you to retake it and it'll be perfect. It has like this way of sensing where the sneaker is so that it knows exactly which angle to take it with. Now, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do every sneaker, because there's like four pairs of sneakers, but I'm gonna do all of them, make sure they're all legit, and let you guys know later on in the day once I get the results back. Back at it again, day two. So it's day two, I'm rejuvenated, I'm ready to go. My voice is going, but uh, I'm excited about finding more sneaker deals. Yo, they got the unreleased Yeezy slides, dude. I've never seen them in person. That's wild, that's crazy. Honestly, I don't know if I've seen them in they're cool. even a picture. No, they, yeah, they did pictures of them a little while ago, and I thought they were gonna drop, but they never did. Oh wait, us. 
Those are cool. It looks like it's my size too. Wait, there's a tag in there. What's it say? Whoa. What? How the much? price says it's not my size, but the size is my size. That's not bad, dude. I don't, is that bad? It's 800 for nine and a half. I mean, that's about going, I'd say. I have no idea, but that's not what I'm. Just Probably one on. of my favorite off whites. I got super excited about seeing Benz. I love Benz. Some Pharrells, very nice. You got the LeBrons. I remember when these dropped. Oh, we got, dude, off-white Vapor Maxes. Yeah. Look at this. Is it a size eight for sure. Kid Seven size. maybe. Eight and a half, you could fit it. I probably could. This would squish my foot. We got Royals right here, 300. Nice, 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 nice. So I got some nice new used stuff right here. These guys are pretty clean. These, the Air Maxes. 100 or less. Oh wow, okay, great. Sick, okay. So for some reason at this particular sneaker con, there's a lot of booths with like $100 or under bins, which you don't usually see a lot of, at least in my experience at sneaker cons, I usually see like two or three. I'm really excited to check out this bin and uh, I'm seeing a couple pairs that I really want. How much you have on these? 100. 100? Y'all take them. Awesome, man, thank you. We grabbed these shoes from the $100 section at a booth. I was able to barter them down. I thought this was my size. I thought it was a men's size nine. It's not, it's a women's size nine. And uh, unfortunately, because of that, I'm gonna have to sell this pair, even though this was a pair that I genuinely wanted to rock, because I actually think it's a pretty clean, I mean, it kind of looks like a clown shoe, I'm not gonna lie, but it's a good like beater Air Jordan one. So I bought this shoe for $95, and I think it's worth around $110. Which means if we were to flip this shoe, we should be able to profit around 15 bucks, which is not bad. How much did you want for these guys? 100. Ooh, what size are they? 10. I'll take these two, yeah, if you, would you do like, 180 for both? Did you want idea? Okay, let's do it. And then the final pickup of the day, the second of the two shoes that we grabbed was this pair of Air Jordan 6 Carmines in a size 10. It has the box. I love this pair of shoes and the prices are dropping on this pair. So I probably should grab a pair in my size because I really want a pair of Carmines. A little bit of yellowing on the uh, outsole, but not, not too bad, honestly. And again, we grabbed these for 95 bucks. After checking these guys out, I think I could probably sell these for around $140, which is not bad, which means we'd have a profit of $45, which is pretty solid. And uh, it's honestly a really great shoe. If I had found these in my size, I would have kept them. Okay, I didn't mean to keep buying things. I really thought I was gonna stop on day one, but I got more. So I run into Anderson Blue, who's this artist that I've been following for a while. I met him at SneakerCon a couple years ago. He does this really cool sneaker-inspired art, and I actually picked up one of his pieces before. And he actually has a really huge following on TikTok doing tutorials and other really cool art. Pretty much what I do is take my love of sneakers, basketball, pop culture, put them together, and I make artwork. So behind me I have my collection, two different things, um, my sneaker transformation series. That's pretty much why I take the sneaker, the story behind the sneaker, mix it together, you get stuff like this just like what you see with the Gundam, just like what you see with the, uh, the elephant print design and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm just a fan of basketball sneakers, so I'm just trying to, you know, show my appreciation for the culture. So shout out to Rejuvenator for letting me check out these Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagines early. They had them at their booth. They're absolutely insane. So I'm walking past the Rejuvenator booth and I spot this really crazy pair that I actually had never seen in person. It's the Suede Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagines, a pair that I think comes out in like four or five months. So seeing it at SneakerCon is pretty wild and uh, I had to get my hands on it and check it out. I got the information back from Unboxed about whether the shoes that I bought yesterday were authentic and it looks like they're all verified. Fives, the Kobe's, and the ones. Now I didn't authenticate the Dunks because I bought them for 60 bucks and they're still in Foot Locker, so I didn't think I needed to, but I could always do that. I also inputted the, uh, the Women's Air Jordan ones that I just bought. I'm gonna do the Carmines next, but so far so good. All right, we literally just sold out of everything. Everything's gone. Shout out to everyone who came to the booth and said what's up. We really appreciate you guys. It means a lot when you guys come say what's up, grab socks, hang out. It's, it's been a blast. All right, so guys, we are finally back from SneakerCon. And I bought way too many pairs of sneakers. It wasn't on purpose. I didn't mean to, but uh, I got crazy. Obviously, guys, I was there for Apothecary. Apothecary is my sock brand. If you guys haven't heard of it, 
you guys should definitely check it out. There's a link in the top of the description below. Not only that, we've also got this really awesome collaboration coming up with Heskix, fellow sneaker YouTuber, and it's absolutely fire. It's based off of some of Portland's most iconic landmarks. For example, like the PDX carpet, and it's one of my favorite collections that we've dropped so far. I absolutely love it. And even though I, I, I've never even been to Portland, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, um, I think they're great looking hiking socks. Personally, that's what I'll wear them for. But huge shout out to Heskix. He's an incredible sneaker YouTuber. You guys should definitely check him out and definitely check out his collection when it officially drops on July 21st. Huge thank you to everyone who came out and said what's up. I really appreciate meeting you guys. It's awesome getting to hear what you guys think of the channel and your suggestions and comments and just the support that you guys give me. I really appreciate it and I really can't thank you guys enough. And also thank you for the support of the brand. We just hit our three year anniversary at Apothecary, which is absolutely insane. But uh, I guess on that note, let's finish off the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.